Is the F-35 the ultimate warplane or just an overhyped and overpriced experiment? For years, skeptics have questioned its cost, capabilities, and whether it could ever live up to its enormous price tag over $2 trillion when it's all said and done. Despite its controversies, this stealthy fifth generation fighter has become one of the most talked about and requested aircraft in history. It is known today as both a marvel of modern engineering and unironically a lightning rod for criticism. But here's the twist. The F-35 may be finally silencing its critics. In fact, two recent high stakes incidents involving different variants of this jet could be the proof that the world has been waiting for. We'll start with its combat debut in Yemen and then look at its role in Israel's most daring mission to date. And stick around, there's a playlist at the end that will take you into an even deeper dive of the incredible story of the F-35. So is it time for the doubters to take a back seat? Let's find out. Pilotphotog.com from the very beginning, the F-35 was a hot topic of debate. Think about it. This jet was expected to replace some of the most iconic aircraft in history. The Air Force's F-16 Fighting Falcon, better known as the Viper, the Navy's F-A-18 Hornet, and the Marine Corps' AV-8 Harrier. And if that wasn't enough, it also had to be built with input from allied nations. Talk about a tall order. The Joint Strike Fighter program, which gave birth to the F-35, aimed to create one jet that could do it all. But the program that was supposed to save money turned into the most expensive weapon system in history. Over the last 20 years, the F-35 has had its share of very public struggles. Let's face it, designing a single aircraft to handle so many different roles was never going to be easy. In the end, what we got was actually four variants of the same airplane. Yes, I know there are traditionally three listed variants of the Lightning, but stick with me, this will make sense in just a minute. The Air Force and most US allies have gone with the F-35A version, a conventional takeoff and landing jet, which also includes a 25 millimeter internal gun. Meanwhile, the Marines and a few allies went with the F-35B or Stovall variant, which is short takeoff and vertical landing. And the US Navy went with the F-35C, this variant features larger wings and cattle bar or catapult assisted takeoff but arrested recovery capabilities. That's the trail you've probably heard of, but as a famous talking frog once said, no, there is another. Meet the F-35I, Israel's custom version, a jet so modified that it even has its own name, the Adir. More on that powerhouse in a moment. Despite their differences, all F-35 variants share some jaw-dropping features. For starters, they're stealthy. These fifth-generation fighters can carry weapons internally and use radar-absorbing materials to make them nearly invisible or as defense experts like to call it, low observable. Translation, the lightning usually strikes first before enemies know it's there or before they can react. Another standout feature is sensor fusion. Think of it this way, the F-35 isn't just a fighter, it's a flying command center. It pulls data from radars, ships, and even ground forces to create a clear picture of the battlefield. Imagine a quarterback controlling every play in a high stakes game. That's the F-35 in modern warfare. But here's the thing, getting the F-35 to where it is today wasn't exactly smooth sailing. It went through its fair share of growing pains. But make no mistake, this isn't some airshow queen pulling flashy stunts for the crowd with only a few flying examples. Rather, the F-35 is operating at a level no other jet can match, and it's doing it on an unprecedented scale. With over 1,000 aircraft delivered and nearly 1 million flight hours logged, it's hands down the most successful fifth generation fighter ever built. But here's the catch. Numbers alone don't define a weapon system. What really matters is combat performance. That's why we're about to dive into two recent missions that show exactly what the F-35 is capable of in the real world. But before we do, let's talk about the cost. Like most new fighters, many of the experiments to develop this jet were in the upfront research costs. And as more Lightnings are built, the price per jet actually goes down. Today, an F-35A costs about $83 million while an F-35B runs about $109 million, 
And the Navy's F-35C is about $102 million. Meanwhile, the Israeli F-35I comes in at about $96 million. Now, if that sounds expensive, well, consider that the Eurofighter Typhoon, an excellent aircraft, but still a fourth generation fighter, costs about $124 million per copy. Still, stats only tell part of the story. Actual combat experience is where it really counts. That's why we're diving into two very recent incidents that show exactly what this jet is capable of. On November 9th and 10th of this year, the US Navy's F-35C made its long-awaited combat debut, taking center stage in a series of precision strikes against Houthi rebel weapon storage facilities in Yemen. These targets weren't just any stockpiles, they were key to the Houthi strategy of disrupting vital maritime traffic in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. And as you know, the Houthis have received backing from Iran and Russia. The operation was led by a U.S. task force that was focused on protecting global commerce and security. What made this mission stand out was the F-35C itself. Designed specifically for carrier operations, it launched from a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier to lead multiple pinpoint attacks on several Houthi-controlled sites. But it wasn't working alone. The mission also included the B-2 Spirit stealth bomber and other U.S. assets in a powerful display of coordinated modern air power and sensor fusion. According to the Pentagon's press secretary, Major General Patrick Ryder, the strike successfully eliminated advanced weapons that had been used to threaten civilian and military vessels. This operation wasn't just a tactical success, it was a milestone for the F-35C. It proved the jet's combat readiness and highlighted its importance in maintaining a strategic edge in key regions. And with the Indo-Pacific theater becoming more of a major focus for carrier-based stealth aircraft, this mission just might be the start of the F-35's larger role in shaping the future of modern carrier warfare. Now, speaking of combat-tested performance, let's turn to the F-35I and its role in one of the most ambitious operations against Iran to date. But first, let's explore what sets this unique variant apart from the rest of the Lightning family. The F-35I, known as the Adir, which means Mighty One in Hebrew, brings something entirely unique to the table. Customized for Israel's specific needs, it's equipped with Israeli-developed countermeasures, sensors, helmet-mounted displays, and advanced data gathering and processing capabilities. It even features a tailored electronic warfare system, or EWS, that gives it an extra edge in one of the world's most complex and high-stakes regions. Working as a complement to Israel's famed Iron Dome, the Adir takes the fight directly to airborne threats, ensuring Israel's air superiority remains unmatched. Israel, of course, was the first country outside the F-35's nine-nation co-development group to acquire the jet, and it's arguably seen the most real-world combat. The F-35I has been a key player in multiple high-profile operations, including striking Iranian assets in Syria in 2019, shooting down Iran-launched UAVs in 2021, intercepting cruise missiles, and targeting Houthi militants in Yemen. But one mission stands above the rest. In its most ambitious operation against Iran yet, dubbed Day of Repentance, the F-35I spearheaded a four-hour assault involving 100 aircraft, including spy planes and refueling tankers. This mission, launched in response to a ballistic missile attack on Israel, struck at the heart of Iran's missile production and air defense systems. The operation began by neutralizing Syrian and Iraqi air defenses to create a clear corridor into Iranian airspace. Once inside, the Adir targeted key facilities, including Iran's Parchin military base, a site tied to its nuclear program, along with several mission production sites across Elam, Khuzestan, and the Tehran provinces. Notably, Israel avoided attacking oil and nuclear sites, a calculated move to prevent further escalation. Despite facing one of the world's most robust air defense networks, the F-35 returned home without a scratch, completing the mission with precision and stealth. This operation not only showcased the Adir's unmatched capabilities, but also reinforced its critical role in maintaining Israel's strategic edge in the region. The F-35's combat performance speaks for itself. But what's just as impressive is how it continues to dominate fighter selection competitions around the world. Even in Europe, where nations often have domestic options like the Eurofighter Typhoon 
or Saab Gripen. Again, both excellent aircraft. The F-35 keeps winning from Finland to Switzerland to Germany. Countries are choosing the Lightning for its cutting edge technology, interoperability, and unmatched capabilities. With every new contract, the F-35 solidifies its place as the premier fighter of its generation. What do you think? Can the naysayers take a seat or is there still room for improvement? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the F-35's combat success and global adoption, there's plenty more to explore. Check out my playlist on the F-35 where I cover everything from its groundbreaking technology to its controversial development and international impact. Click now to learn more about the fighter jet shaping the future of air combat. If you enjoyed watching this video, then go ahead and like and subscribe. See you next time, and now you know. PilotPhotog.com